people have been talking about how we need to be prepared for the coming hard times. So I have pondered this through the eight years of coming to Suco, and I feel like, you know, I've been given some revelation. I just want to share it with you. I see women, they come out in their tents, and they look like they've just come out the beauty parlor, and I think, how did they do that? <laughs> so, and Amona is naturally beautiful, so I just chose her because it will make me look good to work with her. <laughs> so, now, now, try to keep it down because she's going to look so lovely. Um, and you know, because when you can't get to the Avon lady and she can't get to you, what you going to do? <laughs> Tell me, what you going to do? Cause you know I've been hearing people talk about you got to look good for your man and all that kind of stuff. So, We're gonna call Shonda. We call Shonda. Shonda gonna teach you what to do. What's gonna happen now? So we only have little basics, and I took uh, the High Towers class, and I have learned you want to learn how to use what you got and make it work for you and double team it, okay? Cause you gotta have things that, that have double, what you say, dual purpose. Versatility. Versatility, people. All right, so we're gonna, we're, we're gonna start out. I'm gonna move it right along, y'all. We're gonna hustle. Right. You are been in makeup shows? All right, now, we're gonna start. Take your glasses off now, Mona. You got to work with me, girl. Okay, now. You ain't gonna have no Ola Olay after a little while, ladies, cause we're gonna have to work it up. You get you just a little mud, you put it in a jar, get you a little water in there. Mud pack, they pay good money for this in Europe, okay? Now you just put a little on there, you just smear that stuff on there good. You want it nice and thick, but for the purpose of our demonstration, we're just gonna keep it simple, all right? So, now that is gonna help cleanse and open up them pores. You know, so you look good. And then when we finish with that, then we can get that. See that look? Isn't that good? And we just get that off, and then we're going to move along. Now, I was out in the woods today, and I found us something real good. Don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> but I cut it up, and it smelled lemony. So we're going to go with that, okay? Now, that's your astringent, okay? Astringent. Remember that word. <laughs> Can you say that with me? A strand All right, that's good again for your skin. I'm not sure what it does, but I've heard it was good. Too. Yeah, you have to do it even if you get it. And then we're just gonna put, we're just gonna squeeze that on there, and then that, that tightens up and pours. Okay? Now we let that sit for a little while. You can just like put that, you know, slices of it. You know, you've seen them on them shows, Red Door. You know, you put it there. All right. So then that takes. So, now we've done got our faces all cleaned up, and that's good. And then you can make a little lemonade out of that and drink that while you finish it up. <laughs> and then, wouldn't that be tasty, too? So, now while we're letting our face dry off, now <clears throat> we want to go to the eye part. Now, he figured out how to make mascara, you know, that won't run down in your face and stuff. So, we're just going to forget that part. But, you know what, you've had a fire. You're living in a wilderness now, people. Times is hard. You know, they ain't got no rev coat. So, take a little stick out the fire. And you see that little chart in? You can do all kinds of things with that. You know, you write a note to your beloved. <laughs> and, 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 you know, if you just hold them down kind of tight and you make a little <laughs> You know, that looks kind of cute, don't you think? So you can do a lot of things with just a little burnt stick. And then, you know, when you get tired of it, you just throw it back in the fire. So we recycle it all the time. I, you know, I'm just trying to do my part to be green. All right. So, now, now, all right. Now we're going to the berries. All right, you see this berry right here? Anybody know what that is? Okay. Can you eat that berry? No. No, please don't eat that berry. But. You know what, you can take you a Q-tip. Now, I'm not going to do this for Mona's set right now, but I'm just going to explain it to you, okay? You don't eat it, right? No. Okay. But we can take us a Q-tip, we can mash that up, we can paint our toenails, all right? And it looks real cute. It's just real cute. Yeah, I would not advise you painting your fingernails. Why is that? Because you're sticking in your mouth. That's right, because we're not going to do that part, okay? So... 
Now, we're going to get to the fun part. <coughs> so, all right, what's this? Beads. That beads. Who likes beads? All right, so you grow on your beads. It's hard times, right? We got to grow some root crops because they store. But then you go, you cut off the tops and you just stew them up while we're fixing your face and then you eat them. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we're just going to take a little slice, just a little teeny slice. You can suck on a little of that if you want to because that beet juice is good for you. It purges your liver, don't it? <laughs> we're not done yet, no, baby. You saw it there. <laughs> You just you just sit in here like hurry, okay? Let me ask you questions. <laughs> all right, now beets. Now beets are wonderful. They're good for you. They do all kinds of. But look at that. Look at that. Look. Oh, oh she looks cute. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, doggies. Look, and put a little on the nose. It gives her that sun-touched look, okay? Without ever having been to the beach. There you are. Now that looks that looks really and then you can just eat what's left if you don't need it. But um, <laughs> some of us need more help than others. All right. Now uh, let's see. We take care of our eyes and our cheeks. Now, if you didn't have no beets and you couldn't find no berries, now your next best thing would be get you some good hot sauce. You know, because if you grow some hot chilies or something like little cayenne, suck some of that in there real fast, and your chicks will get real pink. <laughs> If you do that right before your man comes home, then you just look all perky. All right? I think that'll work for you. All right, so now we get to the hair part. Now, you want to make sure that the socks you are using are not dirty, because that will not work, okay? And you just take a little bit of hair, and you just tie it up in the sock like this. All right. There. Now you can do it sort of like that. That makes a little crimple like that. Or, let me turn around. Let me have my own. Okay. Or you just roll it up just like it was a hair curler. All right. And you just go like that. And then you tie it up. And it's, hey, now don't be laughing because my mama does. She rolled my hair like this when I was a kid. Smell that, Mama. Tell them. Uh, don't you tell them what it smells like. Nope. <laughs> What's that smell like? I don't know, but it's kind of nice. Okay. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. So, all right, again, we're talking about hard times. We're not talking about Walmart every other day, people. So, then you just find you something like that and then you just rub it all up in your arms, okay? <laughs> rub it around your neck. And then you're ready for when your husband comes home, except you won't take these socks out your hair before he gets there, okay? <laughs> and then you're all ready. And then he comes in the door after he's been out with his bow and arrow, like Mr. Hightower said, and he's been out stalking the wild turkeys, okay? <laughs> and when he comes in, he's going to say, that's my woman. <laughs> Stand up, give a 